Russia's S-500 Prometheus will be powerless against America's Dark Star. Fiction is no longer just knocking on our door of reality, but it's swinging it wide open with a mighty kick of hypersonic engine exhaust. What do you think of an airplane flying at 2 miles per hour? With this speed taking off in the United States, the airplane can fly over targets in Europe or Asia in as little as 90 minutes. Remember the movie Top Gun Maverick, where Tom Cruise's character rode around in a fantasy airplane? Now a mock-up of this fictional hypersonic airplane mock-up, called the Lockheed Martin Dark Star, is on public display at Edwards Air Force Base as part of the Aerospace Valley Open House Air Show and STEM Expo. In this video, we want to prove that such an airplane exists in reality, and not just as a mock-up. Make yourselves comfortable, it's going to be interesting. Back in the mid-60s, many Americans began to notice strange phenomena in the sky. A noise, a bang, and then it all disappeared. Questions in the media and official bodies began to pour in. Is it aliens, and are we waiting for something similar as described by Wales in his novel The War of the Worlds? The government had to admit that, in fact, the development of a unique aircraft, SR-71 Blackbird, was decades ahead of its time. Created in 1964, the Blackbird at that time had fantastic characteristics. A speed of 2,200 miles per hour and a maximum climb altitude of 16 miles. The U.S. successfully used the device during combat operations in Vietnam, and there it demonstrated amazing results. In general, the SR-71 was the only aircraft that the Vietnamese failed to hit. But in 1998, the thrushes were withdrawn from service, and at that time there was no substitute for them. But already in our time, the story with mysterious sounds is repeated. In November 2014, residents of the east coast of the United States and the southern regions of the UK were shocked by eerie sounds in the sky. They resembled a series of explosions or gunshots. Later in the network appeared a recording of these sounds which was made by a resident of London on her phone. Reliable reasons for the strange noise have not yet been proven and the US government is still silent. But one of the most realistic versions is the one that explains these sounds by testing the American top-secret aircraft Dark Star. Some publications claim that the U.S. is developing a successor plane to the legendary SR-71 Blackbird. The new version will be twice as fast, that is, have a speed of 4,400 miles per hour, and will be able to have onboard weapons. The new aircraft is being developed under Lockheed Martin's Advanced Development Programs, about 85% of the work done there is classified by the government. It's known that the hypersonic drone will be able to perform the functions of both a reconnaissance and combat vehicle. Since its retirement in 1998, Blackbird, Lockheed Martin, has made several attempts to create a worthy successor to the SR-71, but has so far failed to do so. Information about the new model began to appear around 2007. However, information about the SR-72 was officially published for the first time in Aviation Week in Space Technology on November 1, 2013, and the interest was so great that it caused the servers of the publication to crash. In July 2017, the prototype was flight tested at a test range. In 2018, Lockheed Vice President Jack O'Banion spoke at an event and said that the development of hypersonic technology would soon put the new aircraft in service. An engine with a special cooling system has been created for this drone. The SR-72 aircraft will be equipped with two engines. The first turbojet will provide acceleration of the airplane to a speed of Mach 3. This speed allows the launch of a dual-mode straight-through air jet engine, which will provide the power to fly at hypersonic speeds. The aircraft will use a single nozzle for both engines to reduce drag. The biggest challenge in developing hypersonic propulsion has always been the gap between the highest speed turbojet engine and the lowest speed straight through air jet engine. Whether this technology has been created is unknown, turbine engines can typically only reach speeds up to Mach 2.2, well below the speed needed to launch a hypersonic engine. Most cannot ignite at speeds below Mach 4. The demonstrator aircraft is expected to be ready for its first flight as early as this year, 2023. The SR-72 should be in service by 2030. The first Blackbird was an unarmed reconnaissance aircraft. The SR-72 will have a new high-speed strike weapon. It'll fly at Mach 6, or 4,603 miles per hour, 
and this potentially unmanned aircraft will be armed and available to conduct precision airstrikes in complex combat environments that may be too risky for slower manned fighters. But what are these high-speed strike weapons? Conventional missiles like the AGM-158 air-to-ground missile, which has a speed of 0.85 Mach, or the AIM-120 AMRAAM air-to-air -air missile, which has a speed rating of 4 Mach, will not equip the new Blackbird. It'll simply overtake its own missiles and become a target for them. Therefore, there can be two options. The most realistic one is a hypersonic missile with a direct-flow air jet engine being developed under the Hawk program. Hawk is a hypersonic weapons development program being developed in cooperation with defense giant Lockheed Martin and Aerojet Rocketdyne. The final test flight brings the U.S. closer to developing its hypersonic weapon, thus the program comes to an end. Both Lockheed Martin and competitors Raytheon and Northrop Grumman have successfully completed the test flight. During the flight, the munition flew at an altitude of 18 kilometers. The range was more than 500 kilometers. At the same time, its speed amounted to Mach 10. Such a high speed allows the launching of such missiles from an airplane, which itself flies at the speed of Mach 6. The second option is the use of laser weapons. It's known that the same company, Lockheed Martin, in July 2022 reported that at the beginning of the year delivered to the U.S. Air Force High Energy Laser Weapon LANCE. LANCE stands for Laser Advancements for Next Generation Compact Environments. The recipient of the new weapon is the Air Force Research Laboratory, or AFRL, which is responsible for developing and integrating new technologies in air, space, and cyberspace. Tyler Griffin, Lockheed's chief executive, stated that LANCE is the smallest, lightest and highest energy laser in its power class that Lockheed Martin has built to date. Back in 2017, Lockheed Martin tested a new 60-kilowatt combat laser. The technology used by the company resulted in an average 50% reduction in power consumption compared to solid-state lasers. The U.S. Army recognized the test as a success and signed acceptance documents. That same year, the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory awarded Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman a contract for just over $26 million under the SHIELD Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator Program. Boeing handled the capsule and tethering of the system to the aircraft, while Northrop Grumman handled the beam control system, which aims the laser at the target and holds it there until it's destroyed. Last year, the beam control subsystem was handed over to the customer. Lockheed Martin has been busy reducing the size of its land-based laser system and solving the problem of its cooling on aircraft. Five years later, the installation was shrunk to one-sixth the size of the Army's. It fits in the capsule. Whether the power of the Army laser was retained is not reported. After all, it was not only about the miniaturization of the installation, but also about reducing the power consumption of Lance. It'll not be possible to put a generator on the fighter aircraft which is used by the ground forces. It's only known that during ground tests in New Mexico, the Lance prototype shot down several air-to-ground missiles, so this problem's been solved. Now there are intensive talks that laser weapons will be equipped with the 6th generation fighter, the development of which is being carried out within the framework of the NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance Project. Of course, a laser in a capsule is not suitable for this. After all, in this case, no invisibility is out of the question, but progress is clearly visible. In five years, Lockheed Martin managed to reduce its laser for ground forces by five times. Therefore, it's quite possible to assume that in another seven years, i.e. by the time the NGAD fighter is planned to be transferred to the military, laser weapons will already have acceptable weight and size characteristics. But by that time, it's also planned to create a new Blackbird. So it's quite possible that the hypersonic missile we mentioned earlier will be used to destroy ground targets and the laser weapon will be used to fight against enemy aircraft and missiles. And it may well turn out that the sixth generation fighter will be the SR-72. And it doesn't need any stealth technology. With such speed, it's not afraid of any air defense. Anti-aircraft missiles, even of the praised Russian complex S-500 Prometheus, will not catch up with it. And they'll only observe the powerful exhaust of a hypersonic Blackbird. In conclusion, attentive viewers noticed at the beginning of the video we talked about the Dark Star airplane, and then we started talking about the new Blackbird. The new airplane doesn't have an official name, at least in the open press, but in our opinion, the airplane should be called the SR-72 Dark Star. Let the unique Blackbird be one, as well as the unique SR-72 Dark Star. Do you support our opinion? 
Write about it in your comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up as a reward for our labor and support of our work. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so as to not miss new interesting videos about modern weaponry.